am starting off the vlog today on the way to take family pictures. <laughs> I said in one of my last vlogs, maybe my last one, I don't remember which vlog it was in, but that we were out looking for trees that were blooming because we wanted to take family pictures by them. We ended up finding an entire, an entire area of the blooming trees, like just a whole like forest of them way closer to our house. So that's where we're going to take our pictures right now. Julie's gonna come take them for us. Okay, this is our location to take the pictures. So many pretty trees. Here's our photographer. <laughs> Look at Quinn. Look at her outfit. She looks so cute. You look so pretty. <laughs> you smell good. Okay, I'm setting up the camera. I'm gonna try to get a montage of the photo shoot. Not sure if it'll work very well. We just finished our pictures and I'm pretty sure these are gonna be my favorite pictures ever. <laughs> they, I, I think they turned out so good. Obviously I have to look at them on the computer, but I'm also wearing my dress from Ruli that I got last summer that I was gonna wear in family pictures last fall and then we never ended up getting them. We've never gotten family pictures taken like good ones. So other than just stuff we've taken ourselves. So I'm hoping these will be nice enough. We're back home. Quinn is asleep now. I'm editing. I'm probably gonna be sitting here until I go to bed tonight. I have a lot to do. Ace got groomed today and he looks so fresh. My friend grooms him. She does an amazing job. He looks so good. Show everyone your haircut. <laughs> Hi guys. We are out running some errands today. We just stopped at Noodles. I got pesto cavatappi. It's my favorite thing from there. Uh, Tell them what you got. Mac and cheese with Parmesan crusted chicken. It's a thing that every time you go to noodles, you just happen to get one other type of pasta noodle in your dish. Like mine is cavatappi pasta, but I have one penne noodle this time. And Eric had one. Spaghetti noodle. Yeah, it just always happens. You always have one noodle that's a different kind of pasta. I just went and exchanged something at Carter's. After we're done eating, we're going in Old Navy because I got Quinn a few things yesterday and one of them was the wrong size, so I'm bringing it back. You're gonna have a shopping day with mom and dad? We're getting you some summery clothes. <laughs> Whoa! What did you do? Old Navy has some really cute baby girl clothes right now and baby boy. I always look at the boy stuff too. We're in TJ Maxx now. Quinn started clapping when we came in. Girl after my own heart. I wanna look at their baskets cause they always have a pretty big selection and I need some for Quinn's toys in her room. I'm not seeing much though. Okay, shopping is done thankfully because we spent like 99% of the time we were shopping in line. The lines took forever. So we're headed home and it's 8.30 now, but I was gonna say that I uploaded my vlog this morning where in the vlog we were talking about which deck chairs we should put out and I told you guys to vote in the comments and so many of you are voting for the chairs that I picked, not Eric, 
but while I was editing that vlog, I changed my mind. <laughs> Literally, as I was looking at the chairs on the deck while I was editing, I decided that I like the ones that Eric likes better than what I had said. So I think we need to put out our umbrella and get a rug and then I'll be able to decide which ones I like better. But as of now, I like our old chairs better. I don't know why, I just did as I was looking at them. It is Saturday now. It's like lunchtime, so I'm about to make some homemade tomato soup and grilled cheese. I've made this one other time before, but this time I'm kind of making up my own recipe, so we'll see how it turns out. Eric is shopping for a learning tower for Quinn, which if you don't know what that is, it's like a little stool that your baby can stand on in the kitchen and help you when you're cooking and stuff. We're probably gonna end up getting the one that literally every single mom ever has. Except I can't find it. Really? We found some other ones on Amazon and stuff, but they don't look as nice, so we'll see what we end up with. But Quinn's definitely at the point where if we're in the kitchen doing something, she wants to be like, she wants to at least see what we're doing and usually she wants to like help. Right now she's trying to take my sock off. So I just roasted these tomatoes and onions and garlic cloves in the oven and now I'm gonna put it in my blender and blend it all up. So I'm not super impressed with the soup. I added all these things plus some chicken broth and then I also ended up adding garlic powder and onion powder even though I had both of garlic and onion in there because it wasn't flavorful enough. And I added Parmesan cheese and it tastes better now that I added all that stuff but I still like wouldn't recommend making this. I'll try to get a better recipe in the future that I can share. It's, it's fine but like I won't ever make it this way again. I'm making grilled cheese in here. Grilled cheese is something I've always been really bad at. I don't know why, but I always burn it. So I'm hoping it turns out this time. So this is day two of me shopping for a basket for Quinn's toys. And I came to at home because they always have a huge basket selection and they did not disappoint. Look how many baskets there are. Okay, these are the ones I like so far. This one would go in the living room. It's a little bit bigger. And then this one would be for Quinn's room, but it's broken and I don't see another one. I'm gonna keep looking and if I don't find one that I like, I'm just gonna get this broken one and like glue it together or something, but there's also no tag on it, so. There are other ones that I like. Like I think this is so cute, but I also think you can literally see straight through it. So the point of like putting toys in it, it's still gonna look messy if you can just see them all. Okay, I decided to go with the ones that I had out and I found another one of these, but a smaller one with the handles and a tag. So I'm just gonna tell them that's how much the smaller one is. And I decided I like it enough without this that I can just totally break this off at home. And maybe they'll give me a discount since it's broken. This is what I ended up with from at home. So I got all the way to the register in line next to pay for those other baskets. And then I decided that I changed my mind. Quinn always wants these markers. And obviously we only let her play with them if she's with us. But... I changed my mind on the second basket, the smaller one, and I got this one instead. Oops. Nope. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger than the other one, and I was just looking at the one that had like the broken handle that I really liked, and I realized that I needed something bigger than that, so this one will probably go in Quinn's room, and this one will go in the living room, or maybe since they're like pretty similar in size, I'll switch and this one will go in the living room because it's cuter. So, anyway, I'm not gonna fill these up right now, probably tomorrow, because we're gonna go to Eric's parents' house for the rest of the night. Thumbs up for Eric's vlogging job, please. Happy Sunday, guys. It is like 5 p.m. already. We've been doing a lot of stuff today. We went to church this morning. It was a really good service and Quinn actually went with us. She went to a little baby class. She usually doesn't go with us because she's at my parents' house, but that didn't work out this morning, so she went to her class. Anyway, now Eric has been doing a bunch of yard work outside. He just mowed the lawn for the second time this year. It looks beautiful. The smell of fresh cut grass is the best. He also just laid a bunch of new grass seed right here. So hopefully we'll get some new grass growing in soon. 
It's actually supposed to snow on Tuesday and I can't believe it. <laughs> this past week, the weather's been pretty cold. It's been like in the 50s, but tomorrow I think it's actually supposed to be 66 or something. And then Tuesday, it's gonna snow. I'm really hoping it doesn't, but <laughs> what can you do? I just posted a bunch of Instagram stories. I've been doing good about posting on my Instagram story lately. I don't know why. I downloaded Instagram for something because I've had it off my phone for so long and I re-downloaded it to post, I think it was the picture of Quinn with the purple flowers and I've had it on my phone ever since so I've been better about posting on my story. Are you so snuggly? We got Quinn this adorable little green outfit from Old Navy a few months ago actually, but it just now started fitting her. <laughs> Um, we got it for $3.50 on clearance. It's been hanging in her closet and then today I wanted to find something to put her in for church and I pulled it out and it fits her perfectly. Hi guys, it's Monday now. It's 5.35 p.m. Quinn is sleeping but she's usually up from her second nap at 5. I don't let her sleep any later than that because then it's like really late when she goes to bed but she's still sleeping because her second nap is when I usually make dinner and I haven't even started on it so anyway we're having Green Chef today Green Chef is sponsoring this video and you guys know that we love eating our Green Chef meals I started taking things out a minute ago and Ace snatched this recipe card off the counter and literally chewed the corner off so that's cool. These are the meals we have today. Barbecue pork cheeseburgers. My family has had this one in their meals when they've gotten Green Chef and it was really good. Pesto panko chicken with mozzarella. I think I'm gonna make this, that sounds really good. And then cheesy Italian meatloaves. That sounds really good too. We have our bags in here. Okay, I'm slicing the potatoes right now. And as you guys can see, everything in the meal comes perfectly portioned and mostly prepped, which is so nice. So you don't really have to measure anything out. Everything's already like in the right amount that you need it. The only thing I have to do is rinse and wash some of the vegetables. Like I washed off the potatoes. I'm gonna wash the tomato and this kale, but it's already in the right amount, which is really nice. Okay, the potatoes are going in. They just have to roast for 20 to 22 minutes. Also, I wanted to mention that Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company and they offer meals for a whole variety of lifestyles, including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. All right, what are we doing now? First, we're making sure that Ace doesn't get the food. He, Ace always gets the food. And I'm putting the cheese and breadcrumbs in a small bowl and drizzling with olive oil. We have a special guest in our restaurant. A cute little squishy that just woke up. Did you have a good nap? And the chicken is done. It smells so good, guys. I love pesto so much. Oh, where am I gonna put this? In the bottom? Look how good this looks. A little piece of my pesto topping came off when I was putting it on my plate and I tried it and it was so good. I'm excited for this. Yeah, it looks like something you'd like too. Okay, you guys are sitting on a paper towel roll because my tripod doesn't work anymore. Taste test. Mmm. So good. That is good. It's pesto really is something I used to not like when I was younger, but the last several years I've really liked pesto. I got him to like it. If any of you want to try Green Chef, you can go to greenchef.us slash 90 Jane. And that will get you $90 off, including free shipping on your first box, which is a great deal. And I definitely recommend because every meal I've ever had for them has been so good. And someday you're gonna eat Green Chef, huh? Actually, I'll probably give her a little piece of my potatoes and chicken tonight too. We came out on a family drive to look at cars actually because we're kind of on the hunt for a new second car. But when we went out to the car, Eric got the mail and I got a package that I thought I would open because I'm really excited about it. I now have my camera resting on Ace's portable water bowl. That's what that blue thing is because my car tripod is also broken. So I ordered Quinn some little baby bracelets from a company called Daisy's Dainties. I followed them on Instagram and they have the cutest little baby bracelets. I thought these would be so cute for summer. 
especially this one it has like a bunch of different colors this one is just white and then this one's kind of like clear with tan inside or like gold but I thought they would be so cute for summer I wanted to get some that would kind of match anything and these thought these looked like they would so it was so hard to pick out which ones to get though because they had so many cute options I'll link their website below I guess or their Instagram whatever there were some rust spots starting on that car that we were looking at. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess we're gonna keep looking. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna end this vlog now because the rest of the night I'm just gonna be editing and cleaning the house and all of that stuff. But I did wanna say if you wanna try out Green Chef, don't forget that you can go to greenchef.us slash 90carajane to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I do wanna film a video very soon. It's gonna be like a one year update on just basically everything motherhood and baby so far. I want to talk about exclusively pumping for 11 months, which I haven't talked about yet. I think I want to give a C-section update after a year because I have had a few people ask stuff about that and I haven't really given any updates on that except for when I did my C-section video like way back in the summer and then just anything else people want to know. So you can ask questions in the comments of this video if you want to or send them on Instagram. I'm going to leave everything anonymous. I always do for Q and A's. And then I'm probably going to do another like community post or something for anyone that didn't see this. So just ask anything you want to know about the past year as far as like motherhood or anything you want really. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in a few days with another video. Bye guys.